Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare a ritual offering to Mars Silvanus for the protection of the cattle, following the directions provided by Cato in De Agricultura, written in the second century before the Common Era. We start with ingredients. We need spelt, pork tenderloin, cured pork fatback and wine. We coarsely crush the spelt and mince the pork fatback and the tenderloin. To prepare one serving, we used about 80 grams of spelt and 120 grams of pork fatback and tenderloin. We reduced the doses, but Cato provides the precise quantities, 3 libre of spelt, 4.5 libre of lardum and lean meat, and 3 sextari of wine. A libra is equivalent to about 330 grams, a sextarium 12 liter. This offering is for each head of cattle and must be prepared in the woods by day and consumed immediately. The ritual may be performed by either a free man or a slave, but women can't perform or attend the ceremony. It is interesting to notice that this offering is for Mars Silvanus, who embodies some archaic aspects of Mars, who traditionally is not only the god of war, but is also related to nature, agriculture and rebirth of spring. As Ovid recalls in De Fasti, Mars is connected to the first month of the year, Martius, and with his lover, Venus, celebrated in the month of Aprilis, represent the principles of generation and life. Mars is also considered the divine father of the Romans, since he sired Romulus and Remus with the Vestal Rea Silvia. The Romans sacrificed to Mars the most important animals bred in the ville, which were pigs, oxen and sheep. Silvanus is connected to Mars as an agricultural god, but is also depicted as an independent divinity of the woods and lands, protector of the cattle and boundaries. Sometimes Silvanus is associated with Faunus, Silenus, Pan and Aristeus, all gods of agriculture and nature. We boil the spelt and cure the pork fatback until it reaches a creamy consistency. Then we add the tenderloin and cook for a few minutes. We recommend that you taste it and add the salt if you think it needs it. If you don't have a cured pork fatback, you may substitute it with pork belly or pork jowl. The typical sacrifices to Silvanus, according to Cato, Horace and Juvenal, were pork, grapes, milk and spelt. This is the reason why we have used pork for the ritual offering for the cattle. Although Cato only mentions pulpa, which means lean meat. Other possibilities are mutton or beef, which are among the other ritual offerings to Mars. For the preparation of our offering, we cooked all the ingredients together. It is a dish meant to be prepared and eaten in the woods, so it should not require too many tools. The preparation we chose is called pools in Latin, and is made by overcooking and mashing cereals or legumes. Pools was often offered to the gods, as we saw when we prepared the pools fabata in the past, and was the first food of the Italic populations, according to Pliny. You find the link to the video of the pools fabata in the description below. Cato describes pools in a couple of recipes, a bit different from this one. We partially follow the method from the Recuquinaria, more complex than this one. We have to add oil to the boiling spelt, then finely mince meat and other ingredients. 
The use of pork fatback is typical of archaic and peasant preparations, whereas in high-end cuisine we find the more noble olive oil. This dish may be prepared in other ways, for example split roasting the meat and dressing the pulse with melted pork fatback. In any case, remember that you must keep the quantities right if you want your cow to be healthy. If you want to know more about ancient food, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking and our Patreon page, in which you find articles and translations, including the full translation of the Recuquinaria. If you're interested in the passage between ancient and medieval cuisine, read the Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks. To learn about late medieval cuisine, we recommend Libro della Cucina, Medieval Tuscan Recipes, and Registro in Coquine, a medieval cookbook. For information on vegetables throughout history, read Early Italian Recipes, Vegetables, Fruit, Herbs and the Flowers. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer and purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. We ate this pulse with a cup of wine, which is part of the ritual offering as specified by Cato. It was simple and tasty, rich with the delicious flavor of pork fatback and meat, in contrast with the delicate sweetness of spelt. A perfect dish to revive the traditions of the archaic Roman culture and the typical foods of the ancient countryside. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.